What is up everybody? Coyotes here and I've got some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay for you. On the we got hardcore team deathmatch on my favorite map standoff running my M27 with a silencer, grip and extended mags. This is a very good gun. I like the iron sights. It's a, definitely a good gun for hardcore, you know, it's got the a little bit slower fire rate. Uh, it's not as powerful as some other ones. <laughs> I didn't see that shit coming, did he? Or a girl. I think that's a I think we got a girl gamer right there. But I want to talk to you guys about people who play hardcore. And most of you guys who play hardcore piss me off. And it's just is it that hard to look at your teammate and go, "Hmm, I shouldn't shoot him for no damn reason." And I've said this before, like, if you shoot me on purpose, or you blow me up on purpose, I'm going to take my gun, and I'm going to put a bullet to your fictional gamer head. Like, I'm not going to come to your house and be a crazy killer. But in this game, I'm going to mess you up. I was on Bloodthirsty the other day, and you could tell I was in this guy's spot. Like, I was up in the window, there's a lot of people coming that way, and I'm just clearing house. I'm on Bloodthirsty, this guy comes up and takes me out so he can take the spot. Are you, are you kidding me? Come on, dude. I mean, there's, we're gonna, we're both doing the same objective. We want the win. Apparently, you just want the kills, and you don't give a shit. I think there needs to be a little bit more penalty for killing your teammates. Sometimes it feels like you kill your teammates on accident. They walk by a car that you accidentally shot, and you're kicked out of the game, like because two of your teammates happen to be next to that car ten minutes after you shot at it. But if they kill you three times in a game, it takes forever for them to get kicked. We're losing this fight. I, I think they're... I don't know how they would do it. I mean, I'm not a game developer, so... I definitely don't know what I'm doing there. But it, I would imagine there's got to be some way. Which, I mean, I know why Modern Warfare 3 had the ricochet. So that way you couldn't kill your t own teammates. But killing your own teammates is, I think, more legit, more realistic. Uh, a lot funner way to play. Because, honestly, if you block me in a corner I'm going to kill you <laughs> just don't don't do it I've had teammates in the beginning of the game start to block me in a corner with a riot shield apparently you didn't realize that I will shoot you I don't know if you know that because that's just how the game is played just no and C4 oh son of a bitch I had I've had teammates lately though like I was playing hijacked kill confirm I'd be running for the tags. They're killing me for the tags, like blowing me up with C4, and then going picking up the tags themselves. I mean, come on. Or care packages. You get a care package. Good luck grabbing it. Like I on hardcore, I do not run care packages whatsoever, because teammates will kill you over them without even thinking about it. It doesn't even cross their mind, and they're like, hey. That's a care package that I could be using instead of my teammate who is trying to help us win the game and who is the only one doing anything in this fucking game. But I guess people don't think logically all the time like I try to. I don't know. That's just me. But I don't know. People just, you know, think think before you game, you know. And I get, see, teammate. Why? I, the guy was dead. A few seconds later, then I get a bullet. I mean, come on. Sometimes I, I've had them. You'll see them in my gameplay. I don't see a name tag, and I pull that trigger, and then bam, the name pops up. You know, it's I don't always game with a mic on, which I know I should. I should have my headset on a lot more. Uh, but the where I usually game, I just it's a lot more work to have my headset on and take it off and put it on, take it off. Then you know, it just messes up my gameplay and my flow. So I just leave it off. I can answer people's questions that I need to. And be able to, you know, stay in the mood of the game and the flow of the game. But when I usually put my headset on, I get a lot more competitive and I have that shit on. Like, just, I'm go time. Like, oh, you're, you're trying to talk to me? Yeah, don't. No. <laughs> As you can see right here, I'm 10 and 8. Not such a great game right this second. Uh, kind of step it up a notch. You can see we are down by 9 kills and this game is almost over. 9 kills we're almost down by. So this, this kind of this spot keeps getting rushed, so I was trying trying to hold it down a little bit. You know, if you played on standoff, you know this is definitely a good spot to hold down. You get some people who come to you from the building and from the back area, 
but it's definitely overall a really high powerful area this area and that tractor area right there when I'm looking at that's my, one of my favorite areas you take that area and if you can control it and have good teammates who don't blow you up or shoot you for no reason you can hold it down pretty damn well I thought I kept seeing that guy right there um, you know another thing is I actually think I'm gonna do a um, a line of sight video I, I know T Martin does them and stuff like that uh, but I think there's a lot of like good ones I want to do um, and I mean if you guys are totally down for me to do some of those videos and you want to see those videos definitely let me know please uh, I will start getting on those for you guys here shortly I mean I know it's kind of late in the game but I think I could totally get some there's a few of these maps that I like a lot and you know we'll see how it goes so right here I get my dragon fire see if we can call that in try to get that win oh and we win by three being down by a nine win by three I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary and that nice little comeback victory at the end. If you haven't seen my last video, I know it's not Call of Duty, it is WWE 13, but I talk about how they're trying to take wrestling out of the Olympics. If you haven't seen that, you might want to check it out. And like always, you stay classy, YouTube.